Hello, Territorial Early Childhood students and families. Welcome to Territorial. I am the principal, Mrs. Cox, and I am here to welcome you and just say hello. Initially, panic. How do we do that with little kids? Um, second is we have a lot of work to do to get everybody ready. And third, we have to keep everybody safe. So yes, it's something we need to do and we need to jump in and do that. So initially it was panic, which also I think what the parents were going through as well, because how do you teach a five-year-old on the computer, a six-year-old, a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old? Just a lot goes into that. What our teachers have done to make it as, as hands-on, engaging as we possibly can, is they have, pre-recorded lessons and then they are working with their students on Google Meets where they're bringing the kids in and working or not bringing them in bringing them online meeting with them trying to answer questions they're doing a lot of phone conferences um, all the parents came in and met with the teachers initially by appointment so that they could walk them through how to get online how to set that up what it looks like so that students were able to access it because for our students, none of them had ever been on emails and we had to roll that out. So we wanted to make sure our parents were comfortable and our students were comfortable as well. So we brought them in by appointment, met with them, um, following the social distancing guidelines the best that we could um, and made our parents feel a little bit more comfortable, which then in turn made our students feel more comfortable. Teachers are meeting with them do, through Google Meets um, where the kids can come on live and the teachers can answer questions and kind of do that back and forth. They're doing calendars in the morning and they're trying to build relationships through the computer the best they can. Our students here at Territorial are doing an amazing job for what they have, to what they're trying to overcome, the challenges they're, they're up against as well with the computers. They're doing excellent. The teachers have really, really tailored it down to specific needs. Is it easy? No, it is not easy and there's still lots of challenges with it, um, lots of frustrations, and we try to address those one-on-one -on -one with the families the best that we can. Is it ideal? It is definitely not ideal. We know in-person is ideal, but our kiddos are resilient and they are doing amazing with what what is in front of them right now. They know it's not because we don't want them here at school, and it's not that their parents don't want to send them to school, it's because we need to keep everybody safe and we need to follow those social distancing guidelines right now. So for all of the parents and the families, we first, we want to acknowledge, we understand the frustration and how hard this is for everybody. Um, the majority of our staff is also parents and they are feeling the same frustrations um, that you are just, how do I do this? I didn't sign up to be their their teacher every day and to teach them the reading and the writing and the math. And so we first want to know, say we understand. We do not want you to feel overwhelmed with all of this. Our goal is to be here to support you through this process as well. It's new to all of us and our job is to be here as a support for you and a cheerleader for you because we're recording lessons and doing what we can from the computer, but you're implementing it at home. And so first we want to say thank you. And please, please, please don't take this on as you're not being successful with them. And I've met with lots of parents um, that are struggling right now and feeling like they're not doing their students justice. They are. Parents are the first teachers and they are doing an amazing job, but don't beat yourself up with it. We're here to support you. Reach out to your teachers. Your teachers are here. The teachers are here every day and they love meeting with you. They're willing to, we've also created after hours that parents, the teachers will meet with you when it's convenient for you if you have a different work schedule. Um, we want you to know we're here to support you as well in this process. It takes all of us to make this, this successful and that's everybody, the teachers, the students, the families, the parents. I know lots of grandparents is grandparents are watching the kids right now and trying to do the schooling and that's a challenge for them this technology again there's a lot of working parts in this to make it successful but we're getting a lot of success from our kids and we're hearing great things um, from preschool because we have our preschoolers online as well 
all the way up to our second grades, the district has worked very hard to make this work together and as cohesive as we possibly can through all the challenges that we're facing right now. But our goal is to make sure parents feel supported and know we get this. Reach out to your teachers, reach out to myself, um, Mrs. Myrick here at the school, just call us and we will try to find the right supports for you. We are here to support you. Okay, so moving forward, um, we are super excited that soon, boys and girls, we get to have you back at campus. If everything holds, the numbers hold um, from our county, that we are meeting all the benchmarks that the CDC has put out for us, we will get to return to school on September 8th in a hybrid model. What's that? A hybrid model is you get to come two days a week, Mondays and Wednesdays, or Tuesdays and Thursdays. The district is working right now at getting um, information out to you so you will know what days you will come to school. And so moms and dads can plan what days you will be here. Um, that will be coming in the mail, so watch your mail. If you don't get it um, by the middle of next week for some reason, please reach out to the schools and we can help out with that as well. We've worked really hard at keeping families together um, in that, so it's been a major undertaking for the district to look at all the entire district, take the families, and then make sure if you have a kindergartner or second grader at Territorial and somebody at Del Rio and somebody at middle school and somebody at high school that they're all coming on the same days. So that has been a challenge, but we have, we think we have accomplished it. Are there going to be some glitches? Absolutely. Please reach out to the schools and let us know and we'll, we'll try to get those aligned. Um, so with the hybrid, what does that look like when we come back on September 8th? When you come to school, we will be temperature checking you. So we have to move our hair a little bit and take a temperature right here. We don't even have to touch the students, but we do have to make sure that everybody's healthy. We're also asking parents, if your child is sick, if they are experiencing a fever, please don't send them to school. Um, and we're, we really wanna make sure that you know that that's fever free without medication. So don't send them to school um, with that. But when you come in, we'll temperature check you. We'll, are we going to panic if you have a temperature? No, we're gonna send you to the nurse's office and have her let you sit for a few minutes because sometimes bus rides are hot or we've been running around or we have a hat on and that will make our temperature come up. The temperature is 100.4, so it's not this really high temperature by any means. We can get those temperatures from just riding in a warm car on the way to school. Um, so again, we will watch, we'll isolate you just to be safe. We'll isolate you and then not isolate, that doesn't sound really from, we'll isolate you. Moms and dads know what that means. But for you little guys, we're just gonna go into the nurse's office and sit down for a minute. And then we'll take your temperature again and see if it's a true temperature. At that point, we would call home and ask you to come pick up your student if, um, if it's a true temperature. Um, we will also in the classrooms be washing our hands. Boys and girls, I need you to practice that. Washing your hands at home right now. Get really good at it. Sing your ABCs or happy birthday so your hands are nice and clean. And make sure you get the backs of your hands and underneath those fingernails. So you have to scrub really good. Don't just stick them under the water and pull them out. That doesn't work. So make sure you're washing your hands really good so you can help me out by practicing that right now. So washing our hands, temperature checks, and boys and girls, we will all be wearing face coverings. So, Mrs. Cox has one on. It's kind of clear and I look like a minion. Have any of you seen that movie? I look like a minion. But it keeps us safe. Some of you can wear a face covering that's a mask. That is fine too. And we're gonna talk about how to wear our masks. We have to keep them over our nose. They're kind of hard to breathe in, I know. But we have to wear them all the time. And why are we wearing them? You guys know that answer, to keep everybody safe. So to keep those germs in. Um, so if you, when you come to school, temperatures, hand washing, and a face covering, whatever that looks like. If moms and dads have con, um, questions or concerns, please reach out to us and we'll help you with those concerns as well. However, we do have to follow the safety guidelines that um, CDC has put out for us. Um, and it is an executive order for Governor Ducey that we have face coverings um, of some sort. Everybody is wearing those. So on September 8th, you'll come to school two days a week. 
Um, and the reason we're doing two days a week is so we can maintain that social distancing. The classrooms will have less students in them. The cafeteria will have less students in there because we have to social distance there. Um, and also out on the, on the playground. We're trying to figure out exactly how to follow CDC guidelines on that. But boys and girls, we will get out, even if it's just to run around on the playground, maybe not get on the equipment right now, but we will get outside for some fresh air. So, and that's if you're social distanced outside, which is six feet apart, kind of hard to figure out what that is, but we'll do the best we can with that, um, that you'll be able to take that face covering off during those times when it's safe to take your face covering off. So we're doing a lot of work here at school. It looks a little bit different than it normally does. In the halls, we'll all be walking the same direction the best we can so that we're not meeting anybody face on. So we're all gonna be moving to the right and walking through the halls. Coming through the buses, we might not let, um, when you get off the buses, we'll do more of a single file in and look at that social distancing. The Again, the best we can with all of that. Um, we'll have water bottles. Um, you can bring a water bottle or we'll also be providing a water bottle for you to drink on because we had to turn our drinking fountains off because sometimes those hold germs and we don't want to do that. So we're really looking at a lot of sanitizing. Um, teachers will be sanitizing in between those high traffic areas. They all have um, spray disinfectant in their rooms that they can use that is not harmful to anybody. Um, that they can use in between those high touch areas. We have, we're not sharing, that's something really different this year. We're not sharing our crayons, our pencils, our scissors. Everybody will have their own pencil boxes and that's what they will use whenever they're doing their assignments. So they'll be social distanced and then they'll have their own pencil boxes, crayons, and they won't be sharing those this year. So lots of changes, but again, we're all gonna do the best we can. That includes you, me, all of us here at school to make sure everybody's safe and healthy. And then hopefully we, we, can, re, we can return everybody all together soon. But we don't know that date yet. Right now we're only focused on September 8th, which will come back in hybrid. Okay, and for those of you whose families feel um, that the best, the best learning environment for you is to stay online for safety reasons or whatever reasons those might be, um, I wanna encourage you to keep, keep communicating with your teacher. Um, if the teacher might change, because once we know who is staying online, we will be shifting classes around to balance those out for the one teacher will focus on the online instruction for that grade level. Um, reach out to that teacher. We know you're gonna be doing your best and working hard. And we are so proud of you for taking on this challenge. We know it's hard, but we also know that you wanna stay safe and we want your family to know that we're encouraging you and supporting you doing that as well. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our number here at Territorial is 928-636-3842, or you can reach out to us on the, our webpage, which is www.chinovalleyschools. Dot com. That's the district. And then just scroll over to the school page, click on territorial, and that'll drop down to more links for us. Also, all of the COVID information, the student waivers, um, or the COVID waiver, and anything else related to COVID as it gets updated, there's a COVID link on there that you can click on that. But boys and girls, what I wanna say is, we are so looking forward to you coming back to school. We can't wait for that. Um, the school has been way too quiet without you. So I'm ready for you to be back. Um, and just know that we're doing everything we possibly can to do to keep you safe. And families, thank you for everything you've done at, through this time. Um, it's been challenging for everybody and we are so appreciative of everything you've done and supporting us and the teachers and knowing we're all in this together. So thank you and we are looking forward to seeing you back on campus as soon as we can.